Today I seen this uh, Edelbrock micro fuel pump uh, and it's 2.2 to 3.5 psi. I have a Holly on there now. It's been on there for five years and I had no problems with it. But I looked at it and it's got a self priming and it's a gravity fed, can be used as a transferred pump compatible with gasoline and out, uh, what do you call it? So let me uh, see if I could open it here. I'm going to take a look at it. So that's basically just like that. It comes with the fuel filter and a couple of screws. So let me show you my old configuration before I tear it off. So that's the old holly right there and uh, the filter and that. So I'm going to take it off. I'm going to try the Edelbrock. And if you come up here, I have a coming through one fuel filter. I got a tr the other one's, uh, what do you call it, uh, 5 to 7 psi. So I had this fuel pressure regulator. And then it just goes up into the Edelbrock carburetor. And right here is this is my fuel gauge. And it's usually running between 4 and 5. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's a little lower because I even ran this truck without no fuel pump. I just put a gas tank on top and ran it like that. That's a handy tool to have. Now I'm looking at the pump and the flow goes this way. That's it. It's uh, 2 to 3.5 psi. So if it's going to go this way, we got to take our stuff and put it on there. This is what I like to use, this form a gasket. Uh, that's pretty good as long as they don't have it up in the front. And then I put it in. So that's so that's in there pretty tight. And then we got this going on. So that's our negative. That's our positive. Okay, here's where we're at. I put the bolt to make sure it's going to go through. And I, I um, made these things a little more easier to get at. And now I'm going to go down beneath the truck, take the old one off. Here we go. So, okay. I got this loosened up. And I'm going to put right here a set of grip pliers. Kind of keep that gas from uh, hopefully leaking. So I'll take these off. And this one off. This is five years this has been sitting on. I'm pretty confident about it. So now instead of fighting with it, it's that one, it's this one, this one's going to go here. This one's going to go here, like that. I'm just going to tighten them up. Just like house wiring. I never had a problem in five years. I never had a problem. I'm gonna do, did it that way before. I never had a problem. 
Gonna do it that way again. And this one, same thing. So you get this one in, like this. Like I said, never had a problem. Then I got this electric insulating stuff. I'll shove that in there. Keeps the water out. Okay, that's secured. They could have gave you a little more room going over the top of this. So everything's secured, now I'm gonna see what happens. All right, it comes up. Okay, I eliminated uh, the fuel pressure regulator. And I got it running up in there. And we go inside. And we're inside, and it's running at a little bit below four, which is good. So I've been driving this for about uh, a month now, and that's where it's staying. No problems. So this is basically the direction. And here's the old holly. And I just plugged it up with uh, stuff that came in. I'm just going to put this under the seat, and that'll be my extra.